Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Return to Dreamland. We're on the last level, Dangerous Dinner, which is uh, me trying to do a horrible impression of the king from the Zelda CDI games, because, man, there was a point in my life that was pretty much defined by YouTube poops. Uh, we had YouTube blocked at school, and you think that would be- oh, I should have grabbed that, dude. Uh, I'm gonna go back and grab him. You think that would be enough to, like, make it so that, uh, you know, YouTube was blocked. That should be the end. There'd be no YouTube poops allowed in school, but no. And here's why. Um, game, game trailers had a user's video section where people would steal videos from YouTube and upload them. And so there we were, watching YouTube poops on GameTrailers.com, and that's where we learned about Dinner Blaster and all the... I feel like there's so many people who don't even know what a YouTube poop is, because it's such an old... such an old world sort of thing for YouTube. Um... Can I fly a fly over that? Yes, I can. Uh, it's awesome. Wow, how, how long do you fly for? That's a long time. Um... Let's use this, because it's useful here. Um, yeah, it's like, and there are people still making them. I literally um, subscribe to a dude who will upload new YouTube poops. Now, mind you, they're very different now from what they were before. Um, it used to be very much like, you know, just using clips from Zelda CDI and Mario CDI and, you know, maybe one or two original things to add your own spice, your own flavor. But nowadays, YouTube poops, now that we have, like, Sony Vegas and stuff, it's next level. I can't even describe some of the stuff that happens. And you have you have two different people. You have the ones that are, you know, kind of keeping it in the traditional YouTube poop style. And then you have ones, like, making entirely new scenes. And then, uh, kind of as a spin-off from that, you kind of have the, the people who then, you know, make, um... Like, like, like the, the shipping characters from Disney movies who are like in entirely different movies and they edit each other in. You got like that kind of evolved from YouTube poops with like voice mixing. I would do a paper on YouTube poop as a genre because it's so interesting. Also, yeah, that's a good idea to have this here. Um, like in the evolution of it. And so yeah, like I said, you got people doing new stuff, people doing old stuff. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um, I would definitely be interested in, 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 you know, hearing about what the general opinion on YouTube poops is by, you know, new kids versus, you know, people who, oh, oh jeez, you know, versus people who were on the internet, you know, at the time, and I don't know. I just think it's interesting. I'm very much into, you know, the idea of, of the, the history of the internet and how it's changed. I mean, heck, look at memes. Memes used to be a thing that were, you know, select few knew about. You know, it was, there's a few inside jokes on the internet, and nowadays it's like everyone knows what a meme is. Heck, you know, old people are making, I did not know you could pick those up. Old people are making their own memes, you know? It's like, it's, it's crazy. Memes are a part of the election this time. You know, it's crazy, and, the, the, the history of the internet is one that I would love to study. Um, internet historian would be so interesting. Okay, this dude sucks. This this little cannon here. Wait, did I turn the water into steam? Because that's cool if that's actually an intended effect, or if I it's just kind of the 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 effect for there we go. Give me that. Alright. The internet is such an important, you know, milestone. Oh. Oh, wait! I was gonna say, how am I gonna do this? I know. Um, it's such an important milestone for the world, and it's weird going from someone who, you know, kind of grew up thinking, man, I wish the internet was, you know, more of a... Dang, okay. I wish the internet was something that more and more people knew about, you know? And nowadays, I'm like, can we go back to the days where the internet was only no- Oh, I, I was gonna say, can I just walk over it? Obviously not. Uh, nowadays, I'm like, the internet, can we go back to it being known by a select few? Because woof. Woof indeed. Alright. That's a neat puzzle. 
The one puzzle I really disliked in old Kirby games was the one where, uh, in Kirby and the Crystal Shards, you had to, which, by the way, I have a love-hate relationship with, um, good, that's fine, uh, the ones where it's like you'd be shown a picture by Adeline, and then you'd have to, um, draw it out using the blocks, like, oh my god, as a kid I didn't get, th I mean, it's not bad now that, like, you know what to do, but, oh wait, shoot, I should've grabbed that. Because I can surf it. Um, but definitely now, it's like, you know, as a kid, I was like, I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, well. Um, not the intended thing, but sure. Okay, well, let's not get eaten by the lava, dude. I thought that was going to be a big, a big fire, like, explosion that I would just ride up and it'd be cool. But no. I was going to say, can I get some food? Love some food right now. Why can't I kill this bad boy? Well, there's some food there, but I'm not trusting myself to get that. Okay, so just gotta be careful. Not get eaten by that boy. Okay, well, there's some food. Huh. Get out of here. Um, oh man. Oh, there's gonna be one at the there's gonna be a gear down there, isn't there? Because it's gonna be like, oh, did oh, big boy. It's gonna be like, did you get the, 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 the super secret route? Nope. I guess you could've, I could've just started halfway through, but. Okay, well, no, actually, okay, it's not too bad. It's not like you had to go down that entire path. Haha. -ha. Get that one, get that one. No, get that one. Oh, I should've waited. Shoot. Well, let's hope for the best. Crap. Well. I was being so smart. How could I have failed? Okay, well, good news is we could try it again. Right? Okay, so there we go. One more time, this time knowing what I'm doing. Hit, hit, jump. Hit, hit, jump, wait. Come, boy. Hurry up. There you go. Out of here. There we go. All right, so how are we doing? Is this three? Yep, and we probably have a spear doomer at the end. Thank you for the cannon. <laughs> and you have to hit him on the way back. That's hilarious. Oh, Kirby, you and your slight physical humor tendencies. Alright, are we gonna get Mega Snowball here? Because that'd be pretty dope. Hey, guess who was super right? Okay, here we go. We got Ice Bowling Pins. Or Fire Bowling Pins, what am I saying? Let's get them all. There we go. Yay! Oh, interesting. If you're by the roof, then it does less, uh, gets less big. Or maybe not. Okay, so we're gonna go down here. Oh, okay. So let's go now. There we go. There was no point to that. Wonderful. Okay, so, very nice. Is this going to have the thing in it? The portal? Nope, just food. I, I, you know, definitely not having shake controls was nice with Star Allies, but uh, I don't hate shake control. Um, I definitely, hey, it gives you a bit of a workout while you're playing, just a bit. Not much, but hey, you know, a little, little bit, oh. Oh, hello. Yep, that's how it works. That's how it works. Um, but, uh, I don't know. I prefer it without, but... I'm definitely one of those gamers who's not like, Ugh, I need to find a way to get rid of that. Because it's the worst thing ever. I'm definitely way more of the mood that... Could have been better without it, but I, I don't hate it with. 
I'm an optimistic gamer, which, uh, according to some people, means I am a bad fan because I am unwilling to criticize, which is hardly the case, because honestly, I could shoot that back. Um, you know, there, there are times where I feel like, oh, no, can't go down there. There's times where I definitely feel like, you know, I wish things were different, but it doesn't get in the way of my enjoyment of stuff. Um, I definitely feel looking at everything with a critical lens, and by critical I mean hypercritical, not just critical, I mean critics need to be critical, but at the same time, there is a point where being just hypercritical comes off as just a little, little annoying, you know? Just be a cool dude. Hit that. Oh, that's interesting. That's a gimmick I didn't really expect. Don't get crushed, Koi B. Give me the meat. Wait here. Okay, there we go. Oh, the biggest suck. Massive. All right. Up, 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 up. Oh, jeez. Oh, you need to hit that one there. Uh, yes, let's use sleep ability. Wonderful. It's like you better use whip. Just telling you. Okay, this one at least doesn't have a stupid thing. Oh, what am I saying? Oh. That's good. Wow, we've nearly already killed this boy. That's just like a Guilty Gear burst. Yeah, that was like the easiest Sphere Doomer yet. Okay, nice. We're not doing bad. We're not doing bad. Give me that tomato. Yeah, no, Whip definitely is like this game's standout new ability, I feel. It's the one that is the most... I mean, mind you, I think this one's been in every one since because it's such a... I mean, it's a good power for him. Plus, being Whip, you can do a lot with it with uh, elemental augments and stuff, friend powers, whipping your boys. You know, what's wrong with two boys? Just giving each other little whippies. Yep. All right. Does this also have five levels? Let's see here. Two, three... Oh, no. It looks like it's only three right now. Interesting. Interesting. So I was going to say, is there only... It says there's only 15 spheros here, but you know what? I bet you there's going to be multiple boss sort of stuff. Look at that ice owl who actually somehow got me. Oh, that dude probably gives invincibility. Or, I mean, sphere. Why did I say invincibility? Did I just re 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 whip a dude? That was tough to say. Also, not always nice to see Kirby descending into hell. That's that's always fun. Huh? Run! Don't touch the side. No! <laughs> just use my invincibility. Yeah, cause Kirby's jump does deal damage, and that's like a thing that not a lot of people know. In fact, I usually forget. Okay, first dude with the power, we're, we're using, we're getting it. Help. Is there a secret if I go further down? Nope. But if I use ice, I could froze one of those for a secret. Ninja! I'm a ninja, as Dr. Wily said in that one Japanese short for Mega Man that was meant for kids to learn what life is like in Japan and for some reason got dubbed into English. Mega Man Once Upon a Star is weird, but awesome. No, Kirby! Well, um, I definitely recommend giving it a watch because it's like the Mega Man classic cartoon you've always wanted, except he talks a lot about Japan. It also has the show being like uh, he was in a video game. Like, like there's a kid just playing Mega Man on the NES and then Mega Man jumps out of the NES. It's like, wow, that's a, it's a great concept. I'm actually always a big fan of that concept in games and stuff. 
Because it's like, why pretend it's another universe? Because in this universe, it's it's exactly that. It's a game, you know. Well, at least at least if it's uh, if it's a thing where they're in the real world. If they're in like, if they're in their own world, it doesn't make sense. But if if it's a you know, I don't know. What am I even talking about? What? Oh, I see. I'll get it eventually. There we go. That was easy. I'll take that one. I mean, it was a puzzle is what it was, but... And they give you an, a ninja guy right here, so you're good. I like how ninjas are just associated with dive kicks. And it's actually one thing that's always interesting. I mean, I always talk about Sakurai because even though I know he's not involved in this game anymore. But I always talk about him because his influence on Kirby, you know, started with Superstar, right? And so... Like, you know, the fact that Sakurai, known player of Street Fighter, you know, kind of loved to... Whew. Dang. Uh, he, you know, definitely incorporated Street Fighter stuff into the series. Like, you know, with, with Fighter Kirby being just Ryu, you know? Dang. I hate this. Um... But, you know, so it's interesting. I love it. I mean, he's because Sakurai plays fighting games, you know, like th that's undeniable. I mean, it's just weird to think about, you know? Okay, let's let's try and do this again. Dang. Okay, one more time. Okay, let's go to just the edge here. There we go. All right, sounds good. Please let me get rid of high jump. I like high jump as a power, but man, does it to do the puzzles with it kind of suck? Okay, cool. Okay, give me give me some electric boy. Does this cause light? Yes, it does. Even though I don't think electricity actually causes light without a filament. Boy, I'm a nerd. I mean, I have to be. I'm a teacher. Hey, hey. Real, real fun fact. All teachers are nerds. It's true. In the teacher's lounge one day, me and the other teacher bros were talking about, like, MMORPGs. Huh. Oh, interesting. Okay. We are talking about MMOs and, like, how we were talking about, like, you know, it's good, but I think one of them was, like, you know, once you become a teacher, you don't have enough time to play them. It's like the last MMO I played was, like... Like, he's like, I, I got to WoW, and that was it. And I'm like, wow. That was not intentional. Um, I don't play MMOs, though. I pl and I told them, I play video games to get away from people, so. Okay, so. I guess we need to throw that here. <laughs> That's great. Is there going to be a thing in there? No? Interesting. I'm going to keep this with me, just in case. Nope, I don't need it. What I need is to not get crushed. I'm gonna get water, because I feel like it's gonna be important here. I feel like water's gonna be important here! Kirby, run! Grab the cannon, boy! Yes, surf and attack! What a good boy! That looks like there was a door there, but I don't think there was. Um, hammer time? Sure. Ha, <laughs> you fool. This is the only dude who you actually like fight fight, right? Yeah! Look at that damage! Whatever. Get him! There we go. Give me the grand hammer. Alright. There you go. Interesting, the timer doesn't go down when you're not using it. Did not know that. This disability is the most, like, everything stops when you're using it, so if something's below you, it's 
dead. It's gone. It's, uh, you know, this one's just about the timing, pretty much. Hey, power! And it explodes, and I can go down. Okay. I was gonna say, am I gonna have to drop this for spark or something? I don't even need to shake it. But I want to. Actually, no, because I think it causes that to fall there, so... Oh, I think there's a way to screw up this puzzle if I do it wrong. So let's see, I'm just gonna hit this one. I'm gonna hit both of these. Nope, just the one. There we go. Yeah, because I think if you go too low, it could die, maybe. Just gotta be careful. Man, this song just makes me want to play Kirby Air Ride. In fact, playing Kirby Air Ride is a big mood I have all the time. The game's great. The city trial, though, is the best mode, and anyone who disagrees is super wrong. But I guess the beauty of that game is you can pretty much play whatever mode you want, and it's like it's your mode. I don't really know anyone who played anything except for City Trial, because that was the mode to play, but... One more down here. Yeah, see, this is this is where they're slightly different. But I, I saw someone online say, when I play Kirby Air Ride, my go-to mode is not City Trial, it's Top, top Ride, and I'm like... Wow, you're weird and wrong. Oh, what? It's like a big old cross or something. Am I supposed to hit them? What is this weird salamander? Japan has a weird obsession with salamanders, and I don't get it. Japan treats the salamander as some sacred beast in, like, you'll frequently see in Japanese media, the sacred beast beast of fire, the salamander, and it's like, that's just a lizard. It's just a small lizard. They're small and inconsequential. Why, why are you making them out to be that big of a deal? It's weird. I was gonna say, is that gonna open, or? Look at that big dumb Mario pipe. Alright, let's give him the big, big bonk. He's like, owie, I'm sorry. Oh, no, he's like straight in the lava. He hates it. Yeah, let's get some of that food before we fall down. The time limit for the powers feels way too long. <laughs> There's like no sense of urgency. I mean, I guess you could screw up the power and, oh, I can't fire it upwards. Uh. Kirby go, Kirby go, Kirby go, Kirby go, not to be confused with Pokemon Go, or apparently the uh, upcoming Digimon Go that is happening. That's a weird thing. I don't know if I want that. Was that a mistake? What's happening? Thank you. Ha, ha. Okay. Hey, help! Okay, there we go. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Oh man, this is such a creative way to do this! Why a Kirby game's gotta be so creative yet so stressful? Okay, so... Oh! Okay, well. That could have been bad. Oh, it's a good thing I jumped. Help. Come on, come on. Door, door, door. Thank you. Okay, it's just a little bit stressful. Um, again, I sure wonder what power I need. Leave it to me! Oh, this has a moving platform. Boy, it's sure great I have an invincible shield. It's not invincible at all. Ow. Okay, that's fine. Let's get this boy. No. Please, no explodey. 
Oh, that could suck on these moving platforms. Oh god, the camouflage is awesome. There we go. Very nice. Leaf is good. I like it. Definitely see why they didn't bring it back, though. It definitely has the least amount of applications out of all the powers, and is kind of a little... Like, like it's good, but it's not the best. I remember playing this, though, when, when it first came out with my friend for his Let's Play, and just feeling like, oh, he's moving around. Um, I remember just feeling like, you know, man, Leaf is so much to it, and that's because I was so used to, like, Amazing Mirror with the one-shot powers, and, you know... Ha <laughs> ha, you ninjas can't get me. All right. Up, 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 get him! Very nice. Oh, that was a perfect! Do I get uh, two extra lives for getting the fully up there with no climbing? Nope, I don't even get one. I'm so used to hearing that and then hearing either the tick, tick, tick of the keychains or the stickers or the, um, the puzzle pieces. And it plays a really good remix of, um, one of the songs from, uh, previous Kirby games, which I can't place my finger on. I know it's a remix, but I don't know which song it is uh, in Star Allies when, you, when you're looking at your puzzle pieces, which I really enjoyed. Woohoo, that was close. Gimme fighter. Hadouken! Oh, jeez. Look at that cross-up he performed on me. Oh. It's kind of weird that these stages were going up, and yet it's like we're going, like, it, on the map we're going up, but in the stages we're going down. Okay, we're in the weird nether hell. Yep, this is the final Kirby level. Kirby games are wonderful. They always end with him going to hell in some way or another. I don't want to touch that. Yeah, that's why. Oh, okay. Ooh, this is a jam. Oh, jeez. Okay, well... There goes that power. Cutter it is! Welcome back, my duck-headed friend. Is it a duck? I always thought that was a duck on his head. This looks like the bill. The beak, rather. No, it's a duck. Be Beaker bill. Not even sure. Okay, so... Okay, so let's keep going. Bit of a shame Archer isn't in this one, because I did I do like Archer a lot. Though Archer is the most OP one. Like, uh, there's gonna be a secret down there. Okay, Castlevania Simon. Um because of its camouflage and ability to just fire pretty much everywhere, uh, it was definitely like the most powerful one in um That one was in triple deluxe, right? I know Beetle was, and I love Beetle. Although Beetle and Suplex, kind of redundant, but honestly, still really good. Um, but, uh, I don't know. Huh! Okay. Festival is definitely a disappointing power. Uh, it's pretty much used once. In, in Star Allies, and that's about it. You get a few rooms where you can use it, but it's not good. I didn't like it. I was thinking a Festival Kirby could be fun with all sorts of stuff, but then again, they could very easily uh, redo it. Um, I mean, you look at, um, like, Cook technically got, like, a second version through, um, oh no, there's a Maximato down there, but that's it. Um, you, you know, playable Chef Kawasaki, which is, again, the dream. I'm so happy it's a thing. Uh, you know, you can play as him in his boss move set, which is cool. Can I go down? Nope. I'm gonna need to, though. I don't know how. Okay, so I need a power. Well, Spear can do that. Uh, best to just kind of do the dash and get it, right? Yep. But, uh, ooh, yeah, no, let's just fly here. Um... I don't know. They could redo it. Magic they redid too. Because it was different in, um... It was a full power in... Star... No, um... It was a full power in Squeak Squad, where I think in... Uh, Amazing Mirror, it was kind of a one-off sort of nuke thing, so... I could be super wrong about that. I might be confusing games. Squeak Squad's a good game. 
I didn't like it when it first came out for some reason, and then I played through it, and I'm like, no, nah, that's good. The ghost power was super cool. And I'm kind of sad you had to pretty much beat the game to get ghost power, because it's one of the better Kirby powers ever. I feel like a lot of people don't even know about it. Whoa, okay, nope, that's not where we go. I probably need a dice, but that's okay. Hey, bud. That's okay. Does this deal damage if I'm near him? Hey, you know what? I'm gonna take that. I like this guy's design. He's cool. Dubior. Is it dubious if he's a good guy or a bad guy? Or is there, or does it stand for something else? I don't even know. Ow. There you go. Give me your face! Okay. Remember when Optimus Prime said give me your face to the bad guy in Transformers 2 or 3? I don't know. They blend together. That's yeah, kind of messed up, isn't it? It was Revenge of the Fallen. I don't even know. Oh, that sucks. Uh, that was literally intended for that to happen. Um, I don't know if Revenge of the Fallen is the second or third one even. Those movies are terrible. How do people like them? They make huge money in, um, in China and stuff, though. But they're bad. The real Transformers was when Transformers was anime. Shoutouts to when Transformers got super anime. I love that. It was the best! I loved it, and I thought for the longest time Transformers was just uh, literally meant to be anime. But it turns out I was super wrong. Ah, uh, that's... That, that's slightly scary meat. I'm not gonna get that. Okay, so... Ooh. <laughs> this is this, this, th these birds ain't letting up. There's gotta be a secret, hey, there's a secret door I was saying there's gotta be one of. Ah, Das Boot. Okay, so we're gonna need to jump, 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 wait. Jump, 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 yeah. Jump. Jump! Oh my god, I shouldn't be alive! The Kirby story. We have to jump on suns, that's ridiculous. Kirby, what? Kirby, you're jumping on, on a literal sun. And he's just like, hi! It's like, Kirby, you're jumping on the largest, most powerful thing on this, on this universe. And he's just like, yeah, Puyo! And it's like, Kirby, please stop. Kirby, you can't drill through a planet? And he's like, hi! It's like, Kirby, you can't reenact the ending of Gurren Lagann, one of the greatest anime of all time? Kirby, no, stop! Yeah, let's pop these bad boys. I like saying Kirby enemies pop. I was reading a theory online that Kirby enemies never die. They turn into... Into, like, star energy. Uh, where do I take this key to? Is it in the next room? Maybe. Like... That's why when Kirby... Oh, this is gonna suck, but I have a way to stop him. Um, that's why when Kirby vores his enemies, he's not actually voring his enemies, because they don't get really eaten, per se. They get turned back into star energy. That's why he spits out stars, right? So he's not swallowing them. They get returned back into, like, dream dust. It was an interesting theory, and one that I like, because it makes Kirby slightly less terrifying when you realize he is sucking up and eating his enemies. Entirely. Because that's a little messed up. Hi, buds. Bye, buds. Ooh, that's a little closer than what I would have liked. I was going to say, if this is all for a freaking blue star, that would not be worth it. There we go, though. I got that. Yeah, uh, so the, the this attack and this attack are gone from uh, star allies. I guess that's the difference between Plasma and Spark, which I was asking about. Oh, uh, we're gonna get Mega Mundo Sword, aren't we? Yeah, man, it's been a while, my dude. 
Wow, this guy doesn't die in one hit. Okay, Ultra Sword, let's go! It's been a while, my friend. Get him! Uh, I definitely thought changing Kirby's Final Smash to this made sense in Smash a lot. Um, but I definitely want to see if they're going to do something else instead for, uh, for the new Smash. And no matter when this, this video comes out, that saying will definitely still apply, so... I feel like between the Robobot armor, uh, the Hypernova, you know, one of the Star Allies abilities, there's just stuff you can do. I would definitely love to see a Kirby redesign using more of his powers. I feel like we have so many more powers that he could be interesting, uh, but alas... Yeah, I love the arc of this. It's such a good arc around him. Like, it's like a almost full moon. Also, yeah, we're killing mini-bosses, by the way. These are straight enemies who had health bars before. Ah, Galaxia! Get that one and stay here. Yep, that's what I thought. That could have killed you. That's like the one time I think you can die in one of these. Yeah, I love it. There's something so cathartic about... Did I say that right? Cathartic? Um, about killing mini-bosses with, with just a single hit. Let's blow up the volcano! Metal Gear Rising! That is so Metal Gear Rising. Holy crap. That's dope. And now we head into the uterus. And this is now Earthbound. I always loved how Kirby and Earthbound are tied together. There's some really nice references to it in um, Robobot that I thought was adorable. Um, and it's like, you know, you play it and you're like, even though the series is done, there's still obviously love to go around for it, and that makes me happy. I'm not saying that Mother 4 needs to be made, and I will say the fan-made Mother 4 was looking good, and even though they're renaming it, and we have not heard anything about it in a long time, so... That kind of sucks, but they said they're renaming it, and then we haven't heard anything since, which is a bit of a shame, but, uh, oh god. Uh, 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 go up. But definitely it's one that I think, uh... Oh, okay. Um, I don't know. I still think we do need an English release of Mother 3, though when we get that, never, maybe... I will say, um... There, there, there's some stuff going around where it's like, oh, but there's, there's these internet people saying there's rumors about it. And it's like, well, yeah, they were just rumors. I mean, hell, when I was working in a video game office, we had internal rumors too. That's what, like, not every game designer knows, learns everything. That's not how it works. Game designers, well, I mean, I wasn't a game designer, I was a tester, but... But even the game designers who we were in the office with were like, we don't know exactly what's going on. But... So, I don't know. This one wasn't too bad. Uh, again, not like I have much choice. Okay. Oh, we're gonna have these dudes in it, aren't we? Oh, interesting. Well, that sucks. Uh, I'm gonna need to suck up some stuff. What power does he give? Purple. Is that electric? Or is that just generic? There you go. That'll, that'll work. You're done. This dude's nearly done. There we go. That wasn't too bad. If they could give four, that'd be wonderful. But alas, they do not. Okay. Cool beans. So that is the end of that. Can we do the cool fire thing? Yeah, fire! Oh, that's still the most disappointing power in my eyes. Because you can't do anything with the fire wheel. And it does kind of suck that in every multiplayer game with Kirby, uh, you can't get the wheel power because the wheel would suck for multiplayer. Um, I mean, mind you, you could in Superstar. 
but it sucked in that, so that's why they didn't bring it back for any of the multiplayer ones. Is there a secret if I go up? You know it. Yeah, it's the Kirby secret. If you don't know about this, you're not a real Kirby fan. Every single, I check every single time there's a room like that because I know that's what they do. But of course, there's no sphere here, so, because we got them all already. Man, the way Kirby internally references itself is like my favorite thing ever. I absolutely adore it. Like, it's just, it's so good. You know, you, there's always the one secret door and the moon or whatever. It just makes me so happy. Because you know that stuff. And it's consistent, you know? Well, I mean, at least in the in the Superstar-esque games. Because, you know, they're always, re always self-referencing Superstar, which they should because it's so good. Boss Stage 4. Yeah, man, let's do this. So wait, let me just stand here. Uh, where does it say how many I have for this one? Well, I actually feel like I did pretty good for these spheres, honestly, in this playthrough. The semi-blind playthrough. Um, leaf, because I can dodge and conserve my health, uh, which is good. Plus, I know the gimmick of this boss ever so slightly. I think it was in one of the spin-offs that you fight it as a secret boss, so... Yeah, there he is. Alright. I do like how they reference, uh, well, I mean, you're not gonna see yet, but they do reference the gimmick of this game in this boss. They're really good with that. Roar! Do you have a boss thing? Oh, here we go, yeah, versus Landia, a four-headed dragon that sleeps on Halkondra. Landia has been revealed as a protector since ancient times until now. So that's how you know- oh no, that's how you know things are slightly off. It's not working. Oh, is this a bad ability to pick? Perhaps. He definitely reminds me of Dynablade right now, in terms of his, uh, his flying and stuff. Though Dynablade is still, like, the number one, in my eyes, like, scary boss, because just something about how Dynablade looks terrifies me. Oh, he has wind cutters. Stop using flash kicks. Come on, dude. Yeah, the leaf uppercut is the way to go. Oh, he's turning red. Yeah, this, this, this is what I knew. Ow. Stop. Keep hitting him. What a good uppercut. Okay, so. I wonder if hitting the crown deals more damage. <laughs> it's not cheating. It's creative winning. There we go. We did it. We defeated the big dumb dragon. And Kirby's like, boy, I'm tired. i go for a nap right now. And it's saving, you know? You know stuff's going to hit the fan when it starts saving. If this was Star Allies, they play a fake credit surreal here. Which I love that gag so much in Nintendo games. I'm so happy they've redesigned DV uh, D... I almost said DVD. DDD. Because he looks so small here. And now we learn that, yes... What's his face was the real villain all along. It's Megalore, that's his name. So we're not gonna see it because I'm not gonna go through EX mode, but if you play it, you'll get to see that, uh, yeah, uh, this actually has, I think, a bit of, um, what's it called? Uh, dark? Dark matter, that's it. A bit of dark matter's power in it because he has the big red eye of dark matter. Man, it's crazy how Dark Matter kind of 
died off in the, you know, the Dark Matter trilogy, and then, oh yeah, by the way, it's like super... <laughs> It's super relevant still. He's kind of the villain of everything and boy the star allies not fail on that front Yeah, so this was like oh, it's a nice little reference to marks But at the same time it's like from now on it literally every single time there's yeah check out Kirby's new friend Everyone's like I don't trust like that Kirby doesn't understand what's going on. He's just kind of chilling. Oh, hey, cool. We got a dragon. Yeah, I'm not a fan of I'm not a fan of how Landia looks at all. Ah, there's the Kirby jingle. I do love the Kirby jingle. Alright, well let's go after Megalore, who's a big bad now. Level 8, another dimension. Is this like a- Oh! Oh yes! Oh my god! How did I- Oh, it's so good! Wait, are those butterfly enemies? Hmm. God, the, the butterfly lore for Kirby. I had that spoiled in my thumbnails though, so please don't look watch Kirby videos if you haven't played Star Allies yet, because you will get Kirby videos, and you will get spoiled on stuff. But the butterfly lore for Kirby is something insane. I can't- I love it, uh, just apropos of nothing. I absolutely love it when, when, when game companies, uh, bring back scrap designs for characters as new characters. Oh, it's so good. Okay, so I, the, 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 the 2D side-scrolling shooter is a genre I adore and yet suck at and yet I'm not that bad at, so I, it's weird. I have a weird relationship with it because I want to say I love it, but at the same time I know that, oh, he has a dash. Do we have something here that says, Landing to the rescue, uh, in pop stars know the entire universe is time need. Joining up with the Kirby Dragon takes to battle. Burst breath, interesting. Hold one and shake. Okay, so we do have more attacks. Oh, cool! Let's get to know about. Okay, so you can do it by shaking too, which is a lot more consistent in my eyes. Oh man! The amount of- oh, is that like a ship in the background? That's weird. The amount of Kirby shmup sections is great. Are there gonna be references to stuff in the background here? Because I'm looking at some of these and these look like references to stuff. That is the dream stock! What's it doing there? The dream stock's not a- Okay, that- that looks like a ship from something else. That looks like a Final Fantasy ship. Okay, that's the grass level. Yeah, that's- that's- that's memorable. That's the, um, sand level. It's like the beach level. I swear that's- that looks so much like the dream- I, I think it's just meant to be Nutty Noon, but man, I just- it looks like the dream stock. That's crazy! Let's get these boys. Actually, if, if I just keep shaking the control, I can instantly do shots all the time that are really powerful. It also has the back shot. Man, it's someone at Nintendo who works on the Kirby games is a huge fan of Gradius, and I'm very happy about that. Nintendo, can you just buy Gradius? Like, they're not doing anything with it. That looks like a conclusion of a place where I need to go. No, I can't press up there? Okay. Oh, do we got a boss in this? In this? Oh, do we fight him like this? Oh, I love unexpected gameplay changes for the final boss. What's he doing? Oh, <gasps> are we fighting the Star Cutter? Yo, what? Nice. Can can we def shoot him? We can totally. Okay, let's not get hit though. Oh, and he's using Cutter. That's something I do love, is that um, Kirby final bosses will frequently use Kirby powers, uh, which is great. And it looks like he... Is this like sword, technically? Kind of. Ow. Candy? 
And a sandwich. I didn't get the sandwich unless I did, and I just didn't notice. Oh, okay, that was tough to dodge. He's got a shield. I'm shaking the controller looking like an idiot, I bet. Okay, well, I should have expected that. Okay, there we go. Okay, tornado. Come on. Ah, we got it with the back attack. Nice. He even disappears like Marks. Oh, look at all these boys who are not even playable right now. I wonder if in, e in uh, EX mode you can play as them, though. I feel like that would make sense, because they could redo the levels to make it so that they could get through. Oh, look how cool Meta Knight is! What a good character. Bring back his Zoro accent, though. So, yeah, I'm not gonna fight Galactonite in this game, because, again, I'm not going through any of the bonus stuff, but, uh, Galactonite's cool. I like him a lot. Ooh, okay, we got our choice of pa- Oh, is there any other choice? Actually, you know what? I think Whip would be a good choice here. Because I feel like he's a boss who's going to be hovering at the top of the screen. Like certain other Kirby Final Bosses. Oh, I should have read the Star Cutter lore. Ha! <laughs> the lore! Star Cutter's lore! Oh, look at him looking like knights right now. So let's see here. Megalore deceived Kirby and stole all Contra's legendary treasure, the Master Crown. It's up to Kirby to save the universe. He's smaller than I thought I, he would be. Uh, he reminds me more of Dark Ma uh, yeah, Dark Dark Matter and Dark Mind in them. Oh, that was close. Oh, what's that theme that it's playing? Is that like... This is a remix of the Kirby theme, for sure. I could not whip that back at him. Is this... This is a remix of a boss battle theme, but I don't know which it is. He's at half health. He's up to something. He looks angry, boys. Ah, uh, he just did the Digimon Crest of Courage. Huh, no, 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 it's okay. Okay, so he can do Hypernova pretty much. Uh oh, that's Marx's laser. Yep, that's exactly what it is. That damage was insane. Give me whip back! Give me whip back! <laughs> Give me! Thank you. Come on, dude. He's nearly there. Okay. Oh, of course he gets the, 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 the thing that I'm gonna have to hit him with. The thing. Okay. Oh, interesting. It's different powers this time. Nice, and we whipped it into him. Okay, it's gonna be cool. So we're gonna have to wait. Come back onto the field, dude. Nice, we got him once. Please, other enemies, drop HP stuff. Oh, dang, I missed. Because I'm guarding otherwise. Get them. Yep, drop food, please. Got him again. Very nice. Am I going to need to use every power on him multiple times? Oh, he made me drop my power. Okay. That's mandatory. Ah, nice. I got the lucky one. Oh, this is going to suck to hit him with.
That was cool. Nice. Okay, that wasn't too bad. No, stop that right now. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Oh, that's a suck. It's doing super suck. No! Please take me on a date first. Nice. Right above him. Oh, you know what the last one's gonna be. You know what the last one's gonna be. There it is! Yeah, boy! Oh, there we go! We got him! Oh, but he needs one more HP. Here we go, boys! Yeah! Whoa! What? What is this? Hit him with the fish! Oh my god, Kirby, no, you're breaking your limits! <laughs> oh, he's so cool! Oh man, why are Kirby endings so anime? Wait, is there a second form? Are you kidding me? Oh no! Megalor- oh, there's, there's no different- different name. Oh no, oh jeez, if I die, please tell me I'm on this boss. That's a marks! Dang. Just wait for him to stop. No! That could have dealt the big damage. Okay. This is definitely a difficult creepy boss. Can I suck those up, I wonder? Oh! Yeah, I need to be careful. That's a laser! It's gonna drop, though, the bunch of them, yep. Yeah. Okay. There we go. I got one big hit in. Okay, so I got fire. Oh. I see. Uh, please tell me I'm on this phase? Son of a gun! Well. Um, whip is a no. Let's go with spark. Um, I'm gonna fast forward till I get there again. Okay. That sucked. Oh no, we're already here. Nice. Okay. That could have sucked. I love you, Spark. Okay, what's he doing again? He's doing this. Oh my god, that's terrifying. So does he have a different thing now that it's slowed? Nope. This is going up. Up there. I'm gonna need to jump in a sec. Yep. Oh! Fly, fly, fly. There you go. That is just a Mark's power. Okay. There we go. Oh! We got him. We're at halfway. Again, he's up to something. Oh god! <gasps> He's using Ultra Sword! He's gonna use Ultra Powers too. Yes! Thank you, Shield! The Dragons! Okay, I see. Gotta be down. Give me back my sparky spark.
Ow. Meat! What is this? Uh, do I- Oh my god! Okay! Come on, dude. Uh, where's that being redirected at? Oh my god, okay. This is a ridiculous Kirby final boss. I didn't expect to see this one go so hard. What's he do? What's he doing? Oh, he becomes this mega thing. Ah! Yeah, this is way harder than Mark's or any of them. But we did it. Oh my god. Is there a third phase that I should know about? Do I need to beat up this little dude? Nope. Oh, bye. Interesting. There's a Kirby enemy in Star Allies who dies in a very similar way. That makes me wonder. And he is tied to him. Hmm. Yeah, actually, Star Allies does some crazy wielding with, um, like, putting the arcs together. Because, like, they break talks about Megalore and the Ancients and other characters. And, yeah, so... Come on, Kirby, jump through! Or not, that's fine. What does this ending remind me of? Oh, right, Kingdom Hearts. When you walk away, you don't hear me say, please, oh baby, don't go. Here comes Mickey! God, what if they put Sora in Smash Bros? That'll be a thing. That's messed up to think about. And all the worlds return to darkness. Because Kingdom Hearts is light. Or something. I don't know. Onward to Kirby Chain of Memories. Yo, but a Kirby trading card game style game would be really neat. I'd be down for that. I think there is a Kirby trading card game. But there's a trading card game for every Nintendo franchise. And no one knows how to play any of them except Pokemon. And even then, people don't know how to play Pokemon. I learned how to play back in the day, but none of my friends wanted to play with me, so... We did it! Well, the greens look just as green as normal. That's, that's, that's great. There's the butterfly! Oh, that thing is... special now. Yeah, they, they, they definitely, um, they definitely expected you to, um, to play with four players. Well, there we have it. All right. So what's the credits mini game going to be? Is it a mini game or just regular boring credits? It's going to be a mini game, right? We're going to go up and Kirby's there going to be playing DDR, am I right? Or maybe I'm super wrong. No, just regular credits. Who is the director? Shinya, I don't know that. Or Shinya uh, Kumazaki, I don't know anything about them. That's not a name you hear in the Nintendo offices talking about much. Yeah, no, this was this. I mean, again, this is definitely the first of a series, pretty much. Um, 
but I enjoyed it a lot. Um, that's an ending, though. Wow. Like, that's the final boss I was actually, I was, like, my thumbs are sore right now. I mean, mind you, it's because I'm playing on a, on a Wii remote, but, uh, all right. So, I think it's a good time to end it here, so thank you all for watching, everyone. And, uh, we'll see you next time for whatever other game we play. Probably not another Kirby game for a while, but, uh, thank you for watching. Ciao. You can do what you have to do